Once upon a time, 500 years ago, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, long before the invention of Mozart kugels, soft and round balls of marzipan in a chocolate coating, but that's not of great importance here. However, back then there were also such things as scholars, and in particular scholars that weren't interested in their studies. One such scholar was the young Leonhard von Koitschak. Young Leonhard couldn't care less about the multitudes of words and multitudes of books. He preferred wine and young ladies in their pretty clothes. And because he loved the excesses of women, wine and dancing, his marks got worse and worse and worse. His dear uncle wanted so much his dear nephew to become a man of great repute and began to worry. So the dear uncle spoke to young Leonhard and explained how much he wanted his nephew to become a man of great repute. Too enamoured by the joys of revelry, Leonhard did not have ears for pleas for scholastic interest in the multitudes of words and multitudes of books. He kept to his love of wine, young ladies and their pretty smiles. And so the day of the great exam approached, and there was little time left for the multitudes of words and multitudes of books, due to all the wine and all the pretty ladies. As soon as his dear uncle, who was so eager for his nephew to become a man of great repute, heard about the situation, he repeated the importance of achieving a name for oneself. Young Leinhardt merely laughed out loud as he really couldn't care less. His dear uncle took him out to his beet fields and once more repeated the importance of achievement and a good reputation. Young Leonard laughed out loud again, remarking that pretty ladies didn't grow on beet fields and pointed out the difficulties of dancing with a beetroot. That was the final straw. Enraged, the uncle tore a beetroot out of the earth and thundered it down onto his nephew's head. Leonard's laugh was silenced in an instant and he ran off in horror. However, the shock had severe consequences. From that day on, he began to study assiduously and was never seen at parties again. Many years later, Leonard, having now made a name for himself, often thought back to the lesson with the beetroot and had it engraved on his coat of arms.